James Cameron calls this fix it, fix it in pre, which means that the performance of the artist is the king and the technology around it should be just sort of the ability to translate that performance into the interactive space. And MetaHuman has been built exactly around this philosophy. Welcome to the future, gentlemen. So with MetaHuman Creator in Unreal Engine, you can create a, a believable character literally in, within minutes, and then you can animate it as well, whether it's offline or in, or in real time. And such character is then uh, uh, optimized for usage in game or in film, um, and you can go to UFN or like you know anywhere you'd like. I think the number one thing that's impressive when you see the new metahumans that like just came out is they just look realistic. They did a lot of cooking and the shaders and all the nerdy art stuff that happened. It just makes like a realistic looking metahuman. That's like the first thing. And I think probably the most important. People look at it and they're like, that's starting to approach like realism. You just need a sort of a decent 2D input. It's really sort of not like we don't have any sort of fancy requirements. It's just like some basic lighting and like you be in the frame and yeah, that, that's, that's correct. Like whatever can stream video inside of the engine is what we can use uh, to drive animation. So, you know, I think you know, Vlad and the MetaHuman team have like a deep hyper focus on making the, the very little nuances that make you feel like you're watching a real human. And the new technology with the MetaHuman animator, you can use a simple webcam, something like that, and you just get to act like you're a normal actor. You could put anyone in front of it, like professional actor, like your mom, something like that. And like they're able to take normal people and translate that into like a really photorealistic, you know, as much as technology can do at the moment, virtual human. So it just makes it, you know, technology kind of gets out of the way and we're almost back to like normal filmmaking. Just just film a normal person talking and MetaHuman animator, MetaHumans, they'll just turn that into like a, you know, a motion driving character. But doing this not wearing any suits, people may see things from like certain big movies that I won't name specifically. You see actors in suits and that's how they would capture their motion. Right now we're just using kind of normal cameras and getting that same sort of quality. And uh, same with the face. This is a pretty high-end Technoprops helmet, which we can say that I believe. But although this is like a pretty high-end version of it, the way that they're solving it, taking the video and making it into animation, that's now free in Unreal Engine. So this stuff that used to be only for like gigantic movies, like big video games, it's getting like easier and more accessible for you know smaller developers. Yeah, so what we've done, and you know, our team is composed of people who have spent like 20, 25 years kind of figuring this out. Uh, so we made a massive database where we've done very kind of careful color calibrations and measurements of light, how skin reacts. And we built this sort of machine learning models that can sort of replicate this so that the user doesn't have to worry about it. I think the MetaHumans looking so realistic is like a real win for, again, traditional filmmakers that are used to filming real people that when they can look at the virtual version and we light it the same way, like a virtual DP is working very similar to the real world DP now who does the lighting and the camera work. You know, that activates the same sort of storytelling, you know, aesthetic that you would get from a real documentary with someone. Being able to do that here, you know, that's definitely opening up, you know, the options for filmmakers. So we have a feature which is called Mesh to MetaHuman. So you, you can provide your own mesh of any character that you imagine. As long as it has two eyes and a nose and a mouth, it's, it's very likely that MetaHuman will be able to parameterize it in this system. And then you can take it further and kind of try to kind of model it further with the points and customize it with the MetaHuman plugin for Maya. So like the options are really wide. So you can sort of spend minutes on it, you can spend hours on it, you can spend days on it, and you know how, how much time you've got and how concrete your vision is. Like it's, it all really depends on you. Uh, let's say that you scan an actor, but you have a character that is in that actor's likeness. It's sort of if you overlay the two meshes, it sort of feels that the actor is behind a mask. So MetaHuman sort of meaning a person behind the character. It's going to be quite exciting seeing what users can do like with this sort of a layer uh, that is on top a uh, uh, digital human and then going into a stylized character. I think there's a lot of op opportunity there. Yeah, Unreal Engine bringing MetaHumans specifically, in my opinion, has attracted a lot of real-world filmmakers. I talk to a lot of people that are videographers, photographers, cinematographers, live-action directors, right? They work with real people. But now that we have like a pretty photorealistic digital human, this is bringing them in and they're starting to use mocap technology. And because it's free through MetaHumans and the technology is getting easier, they're creating short films and music videos that in the past we did with us, those are like million dollar projects. It's making a whole new category that costs less and these are projects that would, have, would not have happened without MetaHumans and that sort of technology. Well, you know, uh, digital humans have been for a long time unattainable for a wider audience of creators because it's very laborious to kind of get them made. 
uh, especially if you want to make them in high quality. So just to kind of give you an idea, it would take teams, sometimes even years, to kind of do a good one. So MetaHuman is a product that sort of democratizes that skill and puts creation of high quality digital humans in everybody's hands. Before MetaHumans, before Unreal Engine, before the sort of motion tracking stuff, it was pretty hard to make a normal looking 3D human and not have them be monstrous and, and make them move around. It's a pretty hard thing to do, you know? So now that ever since MetaHumans come out and that motion tracking and motion capture from phones and all sorts of technology, that's just getting easier and easier. Anybody can now become an actor, create these characters, create stories. And this is personally what's very exciting for me is that like this capability, which used to be sort of exclusive to AAA companies and is now available to everybody.